Hi, it's me again. Um, I don't know about you, but a lot of the people I work with, and my, myself too, I've struggled with low mood sometimes in my life. Sometimes quite severely, actually. Uh, and when we struggle like that, it's um, <clears throat> almost impossible to imagine that there's something we can do to change it. But I've found that yoga's really, really helped me, and I'd love to share with you the techniques that help me and my students um, when we felt a bit low. So just a few techniques coming up now to help you if you're feeling a bit blue um, and things are getting on top of you, okay? So coming back down here, again, moods um, and feelings, you know, it's the mind playing with us. It's the mind um, taking over from the present moment. So as soon as we can be in the present moment, um, a lot of that emotions, ruminations, they drop away. But it's when we can't be in the present moment as it is, that's when the trouble starts happening. So let's try and bring ourselves into the present moment through some postures. So first of all, I'd like you to just bring your hands to your heart like you normally do and become aware of your inner state. Just accepting whatever there is there. And maybe Give yourself a promise, what would like to be, or a wish, or a gift, what that, what that would be, maybe it would be joy, or peace, or kindness. And then we're going to just start with the self-massage, so just hanging your hand onto your arm and just kind of massage your arms, so you start to feel your arms, so really kind of Squeeze and release your arms. You can do it really gently, or sometimes people like it when it's a bit firmer so you can really feel what's going on. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. And down to the, the palms, you can make circles with your thumbs, circles with your thumb and your other palm. Massage each finger so you start to kind of really feel alive in your own body. You know, sometimes we're not aware that we're a body, we just kind of walk around like heads. You know, we're just thinking about stuff all the time. We're not really enjoying our bodies, enjoying what this, this body, this is where you live, this is your home, you know. Just rubbing the thighs, kind of like coming home to your body, rubbing your belly, making a circle. Even rubbing your belly is something we often do when we've eaten and something's been tasty, but it's actually really helpful for digestion, you know. Maybe giving you a Neck a little rub, so just releasing any tension in the lower, lower neck, upper neck, and then raindrops on your head. So just raindrops on your head. Be quite firm there. And then a little massage on the front, so fingertips between your eyebrows and then straight out to the side. And over the bridge of the nose, stroke out to the side, and then over the top of the lip out to the side, and then just little pinches along the chin, all the way out to the jaw, and then finally pinching the earlobes, give them a little tug there, and pinch all the way up the earlobes. These are acupressure points for anxiety as well, this earlobes, particular point right towards the top there, and then shake it out. Next position we're going to do is called the Sphinx. So you're going to lie on your stomach and you bring your elbows just underneath your shoulders, legs together, and we're just going to lift the chest up. So just lift the chest up, look up at the ceiling, allow the whole body to relax down so the, chip, the, the, the spine gets a little curved there. And breathe. emotions come when we do this, that's the thing. And if you feel it's too much, you can just bring your hands down to a pillow and take a little rest for a moment. And then we're going to bring the hands either side of the chest and lift the chest up a little higher and look up at the ceiling. Shoulders way away from the ears as you can see. And take a deep breath again, stretching the belly and the chest. And a 
coming back down. You can do this a few times. Breathing in, coming up, and breathing out, coming down. And then whenever you need to, just taking a rest with your forehead on your hands. So all of these exercises you can do for much longer if you want. And then the final one is the breath. Uh, we always do the breath, don't we? So this breath is a bit more active than what you're used to. We're going to breathe in as we lift our arms up and we breathe out as we bring our arms down. Okay, so. So that's all for today. Thank you much for watching. I hope it's been helpful.